hey guys how are you so today was supposed to be my rest day but i made time today i made time today and i i want to talk about this i do want to talk about it because i'm the kind of person like i don't want to throw ru- throw anything under the rug or brush anything under the rug i actually feel like it's a good discussion i feel like we should talk about it so you know as you guys saw in my community post somebody had an issue with me talking about warfare you know they're basically saying the more i talk about it the more i'm manifesting it in my life the more it's gonna get worse da, 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 da. and i completely understand to a certain extent i understand why you know you know you shouldn't put energy into certain things because i tell you guys all the time to be careful what you're putting your energy into not to put energy into certain things and all that but there's a difference between putting your energy into something that is toxic and it bringing you down and putting your energy into something that's confirming and educating you as to what you're going through and and you knowing how to handle it you understanding it you get what i'm saying knowledge is key okay i've seen people in the past who talk about warfare only talk about it in an obsessive way to make others feel sorry for themselves i've seen others only talk about it in a way to boast about it i've seen others talk about it in a way to you know what I mean? Just to shame other people. When I talk about my warfare, or when I talk about what warfare, what warfare is going on, I talk about it because God has shown it to me. It's not me choosing, I'm going to talk about warfare today as one of my topics. If that's the case, you get what I'm saying? You wouldn't see other videos mixed with my warfare videos that are positive. You wouldn't see other video videos about other prophecies. You get what I'm saying? That are positive. You see other videos that are positive, but you also see warfare videos too because that's what God is telling me to talk about because he is showing me stuff. You get what I'm saying? And most of the times I go through stuff first and then God would say, since you've been through it now, educate everybody on this, this specific topic. Since you know what's going on in the realm now because I have given you the revelation as to why you were having dreams about this, as to why they were buying, trying to bind you in the realm, as to what type of rituals they're using in the realm, now it's time for you to educate others who have the same gift as you so they understand what's happening to them in the realm so they don't feel like they're crazy. You get what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's kind of like, I'm not going to lie, when I saw that, you see what I mean? I I took that as, okay, that's her opinion or his opinion. You know what I mean? I'm not going to take it personal, you know? And I just left it. But it was when I saw they copied and pasted it into another video comment section. I'm like, okay, now I know that the comment is not coming from a good place. I know it's an ignorant comment. Because a comment that was coming from a good place, you wouldn't have to copy and paste it back to back in another video. And if that's the case, why not Why not copy and paste it on the other prophecy videos? Why only on the warfare videos? So clearly the reason why you chose to only copy and paste it on the warfare videos is because you know deep down that I have other videos that are not relating to warfare. So how is me talking about warfare around the same time I'm talking I'm talking about other stuff why is it an issue it's not me putting it's not me choosing the messages God is giving me the message so if you have an issue with me talking about a specific topic and educating people on it and this is not just for that person this is for a lot of people who have the same mindset as, as this person okay because there's a lot if you have an issue with someone educating people on the specific topic right then that's something you got to pray about that's something you got to go to God about because there's certain people who have gifts in certain areas. Remember, the Holy Spirit is the body. This is what Paul said. The Holy Spirit is the body. And we are just the parts of the body. So there's some people who are who are the arms, some who are the legs, some who are the knees, some who are the toes, and some who are the head. But the actual body is the Holy Spirit. So many of us, you know, we are... You know, we, we have the body of Christ in us, okay? We are serving Christ. And we are, we have the body in Christ in us. We are the body parts of Christ. So in what, where I may be gifted, someone else may be gifted in a whole other area. They may be gifted in relationship and and um, relationship coaching and prophecies and marriage prophecies. And then I may be gifted in deliverance. Deliverance through my knowledge. Deliverance through my wisdom. That's what God specifically told me. I'm gifting you, giving you the gift of wisdom when it comes to warfare because you are going to be helping people become delivered from what's going on with them by feeding them wisdom and knowledge. And that's what God specifically told me. That's why when I talk about warfare, I don't just talk about it in a way to just vent. I don't just talk about it in a way to just talk about it. I actually teach about it. And I give details 
including the prophecy. God will give me a prophecy and he will include details behind the prophecy. That's why he always gives me analogies to, to teach people in a way where they can understand why it's happening. So I noticed what the Holy Spirit has been doing with me lately is when I've been putting out the warfare videos, he's also been giving me teachings on, on why we're going through it. Teachings on how we can see it in a different perspective to where we don't let us affect us like it used to, right? So here's another thing. Okay, so I understand that this topic has been thrown under the rug by so many people. But when I saw that comment, you know, when I saw they copied and pasted it, I knew it was out of ignorant intentions. But I'm not going to lie. Here's where I caught the spirit of fear. Here's where I caught the spirit of anxiety. And here's where I caught the spirit of depression in its tracks. To the point where it was like, when I saw it, I was, like I said, I was okay for a bit. And then it was when I saw the copy and pasting, I knew it was ig out of ignorance. And then I literally had to talk to God. I'm like, God, was I wrong for posting the message about the word fear that you told me about? Was I wrong for giving people knowledge about what's going on in the spiritual realm? Was I wrong? I started questioning that. I started gaslighting myself. I started gaslighting myself. And the Holy Spirit had to come in and check me. Let me tell you how the Holy Spirit checked me, okay? There was another situation that happened, something that I noticed spiritually, and something that God prof prophesied to me. And I saw the physical proof of this. Okay. I saw the physical proof of this. And it's something about my personal life. Okay. But even when I saw the physical proof of it. I started to second guess me seeing it. I'm like no that I don't. Maybe I, I saw something else. Maybe that didn't really happen. Maybe da 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 da. And I had to go back and look at something. To see if I really saw it. You get what I'm saying? And when I went back to relook at it, it was actually there. I was right. I did see what I saw and what I said that I saw. And God showed it to me and was like, yeah, you were right the whole time. And then God actually had to check me. And he used that in his example. And he said to me, do you see how you saw something that confirmed the prophecy I told you or something that I told you? And you had to go back and check because you doubted yourself. And did you see how it was actually there? And you got, you almost gaslighted yourself into thinking it wasn't really there. And I'm like, yeah. He said, that's the same concept as with the, with the warfare messages. He said, no, you're not wrong. And he used that as an example. And when I saw that comment, I'm not going to lie. Before God showed me proof and gave me the analogy of what I just discussed, I was literally about to head into depression. I was about to head into anxiety. And I was about to head into fear. And I was like, you know what? Maybe God, and when I start seeing warfare stuff, and when you start showing me stuff, maybe I shouldn't say nothing. Maybe I should just keep it to myself. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, God, maybe I should just keep it to myself and not say nothing no more because it's triggering people. But God, you told me to do this. God had to check me. God had to check me. And God, God had to check me and say, if that person was genuine, they would not have copied and pasted that same comment at that same time, that same moment. Do you see what I mean? So I'm like, God, you're absolutely right. It was a silence. You get what I'm saying? It was a silence. And, and I'm not going to silence myself. I'm not. Because when I started talking about warfare back in the day, I was talking about it when I wasn't even showing my face. I was trying to warn people about it before I was even showing my face, right? And I was hiding for a reason. Not because I wanted to, but because God said it's not time for me to come out yet. You get what I'm saying? And in order for me to do what I'm doing, it took guts. It took bravery. It took a lot of strength for me to even make a warfare video to begin with. And my channel is not just about warfare. I put out other messages too. I put out, we're, we're literally learning about a lot of stuff down to generational curses and breaking cycles. These discussions have to be had. They have to happen. And here's what God was telling me the other day. Because when me and God were talking about this, he really reminded me of some things we talked about the other day. We discussed something the other day. And I was like, God, I cannot mention this on my channel because I don't think people are ready to hear this. But I'm going to mention it today. You want to know the real reason why a lot of pastors don't talk about warfare in churches? You want to know the real reason? Because they're not gifted in that area. They're not gifted in that area. They don't have the eye to see, the spiritual eyes to see evil and to see good. They may only see good. They don't have the spiritual ears to hear evil. They only probably hear God or hear good. That's it. They're not, God did not put them in that specific mission. God did not give them that calling. So therefore, if someone goes to them and say, hey, I have a warfare issue, they can't preach on something they don't have knowledge about. They can't preach on something they don't have wisdom about. Experience is our best teacher. How is How someone, someone going to preach about warfare if they have not experienced warfare? 
Do you get what I mean? So a lot of them don't preach on a topic they know nothing about. But at the same time, a pastor is not going to say, hey, I don't have knowledge about this specific thing, so I can't teach it. Which pastor is going to say that? Also, if someone tries to go into a territory that God did not place them in, and then something happens to them, they look weak. So if a pastor is not trained to teach about warfare, or doesn't have the knowledge about it and then they try to do deliverance on someone and they're and they don't even know anything about warfare and something happens to them how does it make the pastor look it makes the pastor look weak right that's one of the reasons why they don't talk about warfare in churches the other reason why some don't talk about warfare in churches is because this is the deep one this is the deep one mean god talked about the other day it's because a lot of that a lot of pastors and, and apostles and stuff they gave themselves that title God did not crown them and give them that title. They gave themselves that title, which means they, they may know have knowledge about the Bible. They may know a lot about God from the Bible, but they don't know. They can't hear the Holy Spirit. They can't hear the Holy Spirit. They don't have the spiritual gift. They don't know anything about the spiritual realm. They only know about the physical realm, the physical teachings of the Bible. Therefore, they won't talk about warfare. They won't talk about the spiritual realm. Because they don't have the, the gifts of the spiritual realm. They can't hear and they can't see in the spiritual realm. But are they going to say that to people? No, they're not. Because if they say that to people, then people are going to say, Oh, well, then you can't hear God. Then you can't feel God. And then that kind of exposes them. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like they have to be quiet about it. So they dismiss warfare because in, able, in order for you to understand warfare, you got to tap into the spiritual realm. You have to go into the spiritual realm. You need to have knowledge of the spiritual realm. You have to have the gift to hear and see in the spiritual realm in order to understand warfare, right? And if many of them say they don't have the gift to see and hear in the spiritual realm, like I said, they're exposing themselves. So they, you know what they do? They dismiss it. They dismiss it. That's another reason why a lot don't talk about it, okay? So the reasons are, some of them, they, that's not their area of teaching. God did not anoint them in that area of teaching, so they can't go where they're not anointed to be. You get what I'm saying? That's why I say everybody has their calling in the kingdom, right? And then the other reason why they don't talk about it, some people don't talk about it, is because they'll expose themselves if they try to go into an area they don't have knowledge about because they don't, they can't hear and see in the spiritual realm. Do you see what I mean? And if they say they can't see and hear in the spiritual realm, they kind of blow their cover. They gave themselves that title. Some When God gives you a title, calls you a prophet or a prophetess or an apostle or a pastor, God will crown you and give you that title and you'll see that in spirit. You'll see God crowning you in spirit. God will call you by your name and he won't just call you by your name. He will say, apostle so-and-so, prophetess so-and-so, prophet so-and-so. That's what God means when he says, I have called you by your name. Okay, that means he is he is giving you your title. You get it? That's what me and God discussed the other day, and it's deep, right? So a lot of people don't go into that topic because of that, right? So listen, no one's going to do it. Some people have to do it, and God is going to allow those who have the spiritual eyes and the spiritual ears to hear and to see to talk about it because they see what's going on and they understand it. And what that's doing, that's helping the others who have the same eyes and hear, ears to hear and see in the spiritual realm is to teach now i have a lot of topics on my channel not just about warfare I, I talk about other stuff on my channel too i have different prophecies on my channel if you're not going through warfare and you're not experiencing it you're not going to understand it so all you have to do is skip the video that's it just skip the video you get what i'm saying but what you can't do is you can't sit there and tell someone the reason why you're going through this is because you're 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 thinking about it too much or you're feeling it too much. Let me tell you something. You think if I don't talk about warfare, that these witches are gonna stop chanting on the moon in my name and rituals on the moon in my name? No, because when I wasn't talking about certain things, they still have my name on the altar. They still have my photo on the altar. I was still feeling what I was feeling. As a matter of fact, me talking about it, some has some of them have backed down because they know that I know what they're doing. You get what I'm saying? It's important to, to address certain things and not sweep it under the rug. It's important to address it. It's important to give people wisdom and knowledge about it. Therefore, they know what's happening to them. You know what I mean? It took for me to end up in a hospital for my child to watch nurses take me away and drag me into a hospital and inject me with a needle for, for me to realize God really wants me to speak about this. It took for me to see certain spirits 
with my naked eye, <laughs> you know, for me to realize God really wants me to talk about it. It really took for me to go through the storm to realize, you know what, I have to talk about this, you know, and this is why I don't hide away from my kids when it comes to warfare. This is why I talk to them about it so they can have an understanding because I wish someone spoke to me about it when I was younger. No, when I was younger, everyone told me I was crazy, you know, and the same person that would say, um, it's all in my head, it's not real, was actually one of the same peoples that was paying a witch doctor in Jamaica. This is why I don't take this, you know, it's happening to you because you're thinking about, about it very lightly. I don't take that very lightly. I, I see that as um, gaslighting. I don't take that very lightly because most of us don't have to do nothing, don't even have to think about warfare for it to happen to us. Most of us are just minding our business. We just eating our food. We just following the mission that God has us. We just going to sleep and these people will go out there and be putting a name on altars and stuff because they see our mission. It has nothing to do with us thinking about it all the time. No, it doesn't. Because half of the times we don't even we don't even do nothing to provoke anybody. Actually, we don't at all. The reason why I'm saying half of the times is because yes, when you do talk about it, it may upset them. It may upset the witches. It may upset the warlocks. Yes, it does upset uh, um, upset them. It may provoke them, upset them to keep going and going and going and to keep the, war the rituals going. Yeah, it may. But at the same time, they would have done it anyways. They would have done it anyways. When you have a mission and you have a purpose and God is leading you somewhere and people can see it, they're going to try to block you and stop you. And it's, it's, it could be out of jealousy. You know what I mean? It could be out of fear because they want that man, because they don't want you to, to have the, the fruits that God is going to give you. You get what I'm saying? Because their life is going downhill. There's a many reasons why people do what they do. We have no control over someone choosing to go put our name on an altar put our, and, and put our photo on our altar. We have no control over that. You get what I'm saying? So if we have no control over that, we're supposed to just stay silent and not say nothing. We're supposed to do the same, very same thing that our moms and dads and ancestors did. Stay quiet and stay mute about it and just, and just feel like the problem would be resolved by doing that and then not breaking the generational curse. And staying stuck and settling? No. When you're a chosen one, you're not supposed to settle. When God gives you a calling and he calls you by your name and he gives you the title, you're not supposed to settle. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be a leader. You're supposed to speak truth. You're supposed to open the eyes. You get what I'm saying? Open people's eyes to see what's happening. You're supposed to reveal what's going on. Those that will see will see and those that will hear will hear. You get what I'm saying? We're not going to run away from some from a from a problem and sweep it under the rug and then settle like our, our mothers and fathers and ancestors did and not get to our mission, not get to our end all be all purpose. Because that's what's been happening for generations. For generations. People think, okay, let me just go sit in a church and just sit in a church and pray and it will all go away. Oh, let me not say nothing because the pastor said if I say something, it's going to get worse. And then they're dying inside. They're dying inside. They don't even know what their calling is now. Do you see what I mean? It's the same thing when people say, oh, well, I need a husband, God. I need a husband. I need a husband. And you're sitting in church all day and you're going out just to go work. And God is saying you have a husband. But because you're sitting in church all day and you're, and you're, not, and you're just going to work and you're not actually going out. You're not doing other things in the world. How are you supposed to meet your husband? God's going to go just bring this man to your door? People that hear this and they sit in the church all day waiting for their husband to come because the, because the, the God said their husband's coming and the pastor said yes your husband's coming and they just sit in the church and wait and then years and years and years and years go by and there's no husband why because they're not actually going out into the world where God can allow that door to be open for them to meet their husband it's the same thing with warfare if you just sweep it under the rug and you don't do nothing about it and you don't talk about it. You don't gain knowledge and wisdom about it. You don't understand how to fast. You don't understand how to pray in spirit because no one's taught you how to pray in spirit. No one's told you about praying in spirit. You don't understand what's happening in your dreams and you're getting binded up every night. You don't understand why you're stuck. Then you're gonna pass. Your mission's gonna pass you by. Your purpose is gonna pass you by. You can't get to where God needs you to be. God says, "My people will lack. My people will perish from a lack of knowledge." That's what God said. Right. So I'm sorry if, if it bothers some of you guys that, you know, God is showing me something. Let me tell you what happened to me the other day. Let me tell you what happened to me the other day, okay? So the Holy Spirit has been teaching us about warfare. And he's, been, he's actually been teaching us differently. I noticed that he's been giving us a lot of analogies and how to handle it in a positive That's way. That's what my videos have been about lately. 
because God has been really giving us teachings on how to understand why it's happening, which has brought not just myself, but a lot of us comfort. You get what I mean? And let me let, let me give you the other thing. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, he just reminded me of something. He gave me the third reason as to why they don't talk about it in the church. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How did I forget about this one? Okay. The third reason why a lot of them don't talk about it in the church is because some know that the bigger the purpose, the bigger the warfare, right? So some of them are not going to admit to you that your purpose is big as to why you're going through the warfare. That's another reason why it's not brought up in the churches, okay? So there's three reasons. Because they're not educated to be in that specific area. That's not their area of anointing. So God does not want them to get into that area if they don't have the knowledge about it. That's why they have deliverance apostles and deliverance pastors because they have that knowledge about it. The second reason is because some of them don't have the gift to hear and see and they've given themselves the title. God never gave them the title. They gave themselves the title. They called themselves a pastor, apostle. They don't have the gift to hear and see. They only have the knowledge about the Bible. And them saying that they don't have the gift to hear and see is kind of exposing them, right? That's the second reason. Third reason God said is because the bigger the warfare, if you look at all the prophets in the Bible, they went through serious warfare, especially the ones that were greatly rewarded at the end. They had the biggest warfare. The bigger the warfare, the bigger the rewards, right? Therefore, because they have, if you're going through a big warfare and a, a pastor, an apostle, or someone knows you're going through a warfare and they don't have to give to hear, they know that you have whatever the, whatever these prophets in the, in the Bible had. Some type of purpose that's big, big just according to that because of how big your warfare is. So they're not going to sit there and, and, and train you on it, talk to you about it, teach you about it because they don't have that knowledge right or because they don't have that gift you have they're not going to tell you your purpose is huge your purpose is so big that's why you're going through work they're not going to tell you all that because then you're going to want to find out what your purpose is then you're going to be really hungry for your purpose then you're really going to want to fight back right see there's listen anyways what i was saying is what happened to me the other day thank you for reminding me so the other day you know what happened to me so the whole week last week, we were talking about Psalms. There's a reason why God was giving us the book of Psalms all week. I'm like, why are we getting a lot of Psalms? And you guys have been saying, well, God's giving me Psalm too, you know? This is before I even knew there was a warfare. We were in a warfare. I didn't know even know we were in a warfare. Like, sometimes we don't even feel it because we're so used to it. We don't even feel it. But it will happen later. God will prepare us for it, right? So the other day, I had a vision of someone with my photo and they had candles around it. Like I told you guys, they had candles around it. And that same night, that same night I saw, I had that vision. You know, a demon, Ashel traveled to me and he was holding me down in my sleep. But let me tell you something. I wasn't scared. Back in the day, I was scared. But you know, I wasn't scared because I understand warfare. You know, I wasn't scared because I understand the power of the Holy Spirit. You get what I'm saying? Because I had the knowledge and the wisdom about it. When that demon came, I wasn't scared. You know what I said to that demon? I said, you're a hater. My husband even heard it too. I, my my uh, kingdom husband, he was like, he was, he heard the whole thing too. I'm like to the, to the demon, you're a hater. I'm like, you're a hater. And he was just, he was, the demon was trying to hold me down and he was saying some stuff, so, some language. And you know, all I had to do, I chuckled and guess, oh, guess what I had to do? All I did was I chuckled. I said, you're a hater. Chuckled again. And I'm like, Jesus. And he vanished. He left so quick. He left so fast and he released me. As soon as I said Jesus, he left so fast. But you know what? I wasn't even scared. I went back to bed in the pitch black dark room. Back in the day, my all my lights would be on. You get what I'm saying? My phone would my phone light would be on. I'll you know the even I'll be pushing music, you know, the Psalms 91 meditation music, you know, on abide. I would be playing that because sometimes I'll get scared. Not anymore. Because I understand warfare. I understand because I've I've been so um, I've I've had so much happen to me and I have so much knowledge about it now and I'm more powerful in the spiritual realm and I can pray in spirit and I've learned all this stuff to the point where certain things affect don't affect me like it used to. So I can when that happened to me, I know exactly what to do. Why? Because of my knowledge. Because of what God taught me. You know what I mean? So yes, these discussions have to happen. They have to happen. Back in the day, there was someone that told me back in the day. They said the same thing this person said. They said to me, the reason why you're being attacked is because you're posting all these videos and da 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 da, da about warfare. So they're attacking you. You know what happened? When God pulled me away from my channel for a bit and I wasn't posting for a while, guess what? God revealed to them, look, she ain't even posting nothing and they're still attacking her. And guess what happened? This person had to apologize to me. This person said, I see now. He said, I see now. I'm sorry, I see now. 
You know why? Because he thought that I was doing it to myself by by posting videos and helping people that I was I was causing my own attacks. And that's not true. Because one, I was being attacked way before I even posted on YouTube. When I was being attacked and I went on YouTube, there was no one talking about warfare on YouTube. Nobody. After I went to churches and churches and, and, and tried to get help, nobody was talking about it. There was no one on YouTube talking about it. And I was being attacked then. I was being attacked then, right? So when God pulled me away from it, God was able to show him around that time everything that's been happening to me. But God was also able to show this person She's not even doing nothing right now. She's taking a break from YouTube. She's not even posting anything. And they're still attacking her. And God showed him the real reason why they were attacking me. Not because I was posting videos. The real reason why they were attacking me was because of my mission. Because of my purpose. Because of envy. That's why. So some of us don't even have to do nothing to be attacked. Most of the times we're not. <laughs> we're not even saying anything about it when we're attacked. Half of the times people know they're going through something. And it's because of my video why they know they're going through it. Because they know they're going through something, but they have no understanding of why they're going through it. They have no understanding as to what's happening to them. They just know that they're going through something. And then as soon as God gives me the message that says, put this out, even though I understand, I can be, be selfish and not say nothing, but God won't allow me to do that. Even though I understand, I still put it out. Because you know why? There's someone out there that's going through the exact same thing. They're experiencing this at the exact same time. Like that moon message I just put out. And they didn't understand what was happening to them. See, having a lack of knowledge can lead you into disastrous situations. When I had a lack of knowledge, I was in and out the hospital. When I had a lack of knowledge, I was opening my mouth to the wrong people. You get what I'm saying? When I had a lack of knowledge, I was suicidal. When I had a lack of knowledge, I sat in depression. When I started to gain knowledge and wisdom about it, I understood why I was more hungry for my mission. I became more hungry for my mission. I started to fight back. You get what I'm saying? I was actually more relieved to know that there was a reason and behind something and I was not just crazy. So no, I'm not going to shut up. I'm not going to be silenced. No, I'm not going to stop until the Holy Spirit tells me to stop. Period. Okay, because I know what it feels like to be dismissed. I know what it feels like to be silenced. I know, like, listen, if I did not speak up about what I've been going through, I probably wouldn't even be here right now. If I didn't speak up about what I was going through, my kingdom husband would not have put the pieces together. You get what I'm saying? It's me talking about what I've been going through. He was allowed to put the pieces together in his life because he was going through the same thing. So when I spoke about what I was going through, he realized he was going through the same thing connect the dots together and we both realize what's happening now we both pray for each other now we both pray for each other in spirit do you get what i'm saying now we both pray and fast together because we both have an understanding as to what's happening that's why you have to be you know you have to acknowledge that's why god said acknowledge the warfare acknowledge the training because when you go through warfare not only being training to fight warfare when it comes to your purpose and your future but you're also being trained to fight the warfare when you go into your marriage so you know how to pray for your husband. So you know how to pray for your children. Not just physically, but also in spirit. So no, I'm not going to shut up. I'm not going to shut up. Because what brought me peace in my life is understanding what's been going on. If I didn't understand what was going on, I would be confused and I would not have that peace in my life. The Holy Spirit helped me. And because he helped me, he chose me to help y'all. So if you're not going through warfare, then just skip through the video. Don't even watch it. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to sit there and tell me what to post on my channel and what to teach on my channel because I don't obey you. I obey God. Period. And if you have an issue with it, there's plenty of other channels you can go to that don't talk about warfare, that sugarcoat stuff for you, that can give you sunshines and lollipops, prophecies 24-7. Not saying that that there's no good prophecies. There's there's a lot of good. I get a lot of good prophecies, but just be, you think God's gonna just give me good prophecies and not give me prophecies about warfare? Come on now. You get what I'm saying? God don't sugarcoat nothing. He's he's honest and he wants us to win. And in order for us to win, there has to be discipline. There has to be knowledge. We have to know what's what we're facing in order for us to win. You know what I mean? So 
yeah, there's other channels you guys can go to if you don't want to listen to warfare stuff. Like, you, or just, just skip, skip past it because no one's forcing you to click it. No one's forcing you to click it. You know? So, there's people who we are all given a, a purpose. We're all given the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit told me that he's extremely proud of me. And that's all that matters. So, if you have a problem with certain videos, go start your own YouTube channel. Go start your own YouTube channel then. And go make your own content. And go talk about go talk about the stuff that you wish that I spoke about. Go do that. Go do that. Or go look for someone else. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to sit there and tell me what I should teach and what I should not teach. Because you telling me not to post something or not to talk about something, you're basically telling me to disobey what the Holy Spirit's telling me to do. And I'm not going to do that. And what you're not going to do is you're not going to gaslight me into thinking I'm doing something wrong by trying to educate people on warfare. That's what you're not going to do. Okay, so anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.